Good Friday morning, day three. Mr. Brown here. Happy Friday to you. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I just wanted to go over today's um, instructions. Okay, we finished night yesterday, so if you need some more time, take that time to finish up chapter five. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we are going to be starting something different. We're going to move away from night for a few days um, to do a project that's going to be based on graduation. So we hope it's fun for you. Okay, so you can see in remote learning here that we I have the instructions for uh, May 22nd. It says Good Friday morning. We're going to take a little break from our Noble March. Today we are going to start a little project that has everything to do with your graduation. Uh, you will be working in the folder called May 22 to May 27 graduation project. In this folder, you will find two assignments. Uh, the first is make a graduation cap, and the second is a graduation farewell speech writing assignment. So let's go into classwork and take a look at both of those. Okay, as you can tell by the dates, um, as you can tell by the dates, uh, this is going to be over a few days. So this is going to be due Wednesday the 27th. Both of these projects, Wednesday the 27th, here's the due date right here, May 27 at 9 a.m., May 27 at 9 a.m. Let's take a look. Here we are, May 22 to 27 graduation project. Um, let's take a look at make a graduation cap first, okay? So, instructions are, uh, we will soon be completing the school year. This is one of your final end of year projects. It has everything to do with your graduation. Um, the ELA project, okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to use any materials you can find at home to make a graduation cap. You've probably seen one before. Um, I'll show you one just to uh, familiarize you. Be creative. The attached videos help you gu guide you in making and, de and decorating your own graduation cap. So definitely have fun with it. After you have completed your own graduation cap, you will take a picture of the cap, take another picture of you wearing the cap, and upload the picture into this folder. Okay, so that's our instructions for the graduation cap. Let's just show you what we have here. Um, first of all, we've got uh, three tutorial videos. Okay, it's not going to play the sound. Um, it's just something to do, a feature with this particular uh, application that I use. But if I show you the video, and when you see it for yourself, you can see where they, they, they uh, bring you in step by step, to, step by step to make a graduation cap. Okay, so the finished product is going to look a lot like, let's see, it looks like it might be multiple step, but there we are. Look at that graduation cap right there. Perfect. So you've got that one. You've got four ways to decorate. So it's still loading. Okay, graduation caps, you can see where they decorated it. Uh, you've got another tutorial. How to make your graduation cap, your final product. Will look a lot like that, okay? Although I'm sure you're going to be more creative. Okay, so that is making a graduation cap. Um, in here, I have a Google Doc. Um, you can just place your pictures in there, and that is that assignment done. Okay, so. Again, within Make a Graduation Cap, you've got the instructions, you've got three tutorial videos that you can click on, and part of the, the, the last part of the instructions is to take a picture of your own cap and place it in the Google Doc called Graduation Cap Picture. Everybody has their own Google Doc, so you'll have your own picture uh, by itself as a grade. Okay, so that is Make a Graduation Cap. I'm going to move on to the graduation farewell speech. Okay, this is actually a writing assignment. Okay, I'm going to read this. Okay, so one component of this project will be a speech you will give as a memorable, a memorable farewell to Maria L. Barisco Rogers. This writing assignment below will prove to be a great starting, uh, great start to crafting your speech. It will also be an important writing project grade. So this will be a pro, uh, a writing grade here. Our directions: answer the questions in the Google Doc called farewell speech questions. Be sure to be detailed and express yourself in a way that will do justice to reading it aloud as a formal speech. Write in a formal and expressive way. These are questions personal to you. Express yourself well in an, and in a way that befits a final farewell while voicing your cherished memories during this your time at MLVR. 
write one to two paragraphs for each question. There are five multiple part questions, okay? So knowing that, let's go right into it. I've got a Spanish one here and I've got a uh, English version here. I'm gonna open up our farewell speech questions. Okay, you've got the uh, pretty much the same directions right here at the top, but I'm gonna go over the questions with you, okay? So for example, you've got number one, describe some of your most cherished moments during your time at MLBR. What are the moments you take will take with you for the rest of your life? Why are these memor memories so important to you? This is all you, okay? This is you um, thinking back, being nostalgic, and somehow expressing it in writing, okay? So it's a nice little start to your speech right here. Okay, so this will be number one. Now you want to think in terms of transitioning. Okay, so then you're going to transition into number two, because eventually this will be a whole speech. Number two is describe your favorite teacher or teachers. Why were these teachers so important to your education and overall time at MLBR? How did they provide inspiration to you? And how did you apply this inspiration in your own life? Okay, so that's question number two that you can transition to favorite teachers. I do have multiple part questions, but just remember that is just to sort of prompt you so that you could write at least a paragraph or two per uh, per uh, question. Okay, so plenty of prompts just to give you some thoughts and you'll have plenty to write about. Okay, you can expound on your answers, meaning that you can expand them and be a little more detailed. Okay, uh, number three, what words of wisdom did you receive while at L MLBR? Okay, you can have more than one example, of course. Word of wisdom, words of wisdom. How did these words of wisdom, wisdom inspire you? Would you pass on these words, words of wisdom to others? Explain why or why not. Again, multi-part questions, but just so that you've got a, a nice, strong, expressive paragraph per question, okay, with multiple parts. Number four, imagine you were to give advice to an upcoming third grader or an upcoming seventh grader. What words of wisdom would you give to these students as they continue to grow at MLBR? Give a detailed example of your words of wisdom, meaning how would they work? What do you hope they will achieve upon hearing your words of wisdom and explain? Okay, yet again, multiple parts, but just so you can write a very strong paragraph. Remember, you're going to be transitioning from uh, question to question, uh, just so it just sounds like a, a, a complete and formal speech. And lastly, number five, how do you believe your time at MLBR will help you go on to be a good citizen, a change maker, and a model high school student? How do you plan to succeed as you move on to bigger and better things? What do you hope to achieve? Explain in detail. Again, multiple parts, all about um, we, you're concluding with um, what you plan to do as you move on. Okay, what do you, what, what expectations do you have for yourselves? What goals? What dreams? Okay, this is all you. I can't wait to hear it. Um, be expressive. Be, do be formal. Um, don't be afraid to express your opinion. Um, as long as you're expressing it well in a writing format. And I think that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, but I am looking forward to these. I always love to read your writing, especially especially your, your personal writing with your own personal opinions and, and, and beliefs and, and, and desires in it. All right, all right, do your best, A3. All right, I believe in you. Take care, bye-bye.